Hello and welcome to this learning video. Here in this we are going to take the third method on the inverse Z transform that is the power series method. So power series uh, method is used to find out the inverse Z transform of the functions. So depending on the problem we can uh, make use of the infinite geometric series or sometimes the binomial expansions of the negative powers sometimes we have to uh, divide the numerator by denominator if the if we have uh, a rational polynomial is given to you where the numerator and uh, degree of numerator and the degree of denominator is same so depending on the problem we have to make use of the appropriate uh, result like sometimes we'll be using the binomial expansion sometimes uh, division of numerator by denominator okay and the very important thing is uh, under this method is how you will uh, identify whether the problem is of uh, whether we have to solve the problem by power series method or by the convolution or by the partial fraction method okay so the answer is this this is called as region of convergence this is the region of convergence if in the given problem if you find the region of uh, convergence which appears explicitly in the uh, problem or the question then this problem must be solved by the power series method only okay and uh, as you know that our objective is to get the sequence okay so sometimes what happens uh, we'll be getting uh, the f of z like uh, f1 z0 sorry f0 z0 plus f1 z power minus 1 plus f2 z power minus 2 plus f3 z power minus 3 and so on so all these coefficients form a sequence f f0 f1 f2 and fn and so on and this is what we want this is f of n z inverse of f of z is equal to. okay so sometimes uh, we will uh, write solution like this sometimes uh, we will write the uh, given function by looking at the binomial expansion and uh, we can write down its general term as answer okay so i think without wasting time let us take the very first example on this so this example number one says uh, find inverse z transform of uh, z cube upon z minus 2 cube and the region is given as mod of z greater than 2 okay so let us start with the uh, given function so what is my f of z so you can write let f of z is equal to z cube upon z minus 2 whole cube okay this is my f of z now we are given that the region of convergence is this mod of z greater than 2 so i can start with that uh, so we have mod of z greater than 2 okay so i can write this one as mod of z by 2 is greater than 1 or i can write this one as mod of 2 by z is less than 1 that is well understood okay so it means that i can expand this given function in the uh, binomial expansion for 2 by z to be less than 1 that is the region of convergence okay so what does it says it says if i have my function f of z to be z cube upon z minus 2 cube so I can write this one as z cube upon here I can take uh, um, z common so it comes with cube and I remain with 1 minus 2 by z cube okay so this z cube get cancelled with this and I am remain with 1 minus 2 by z power minus 3 and as this 2 by z is less than 1 I can make use of the binomial expansion for this so for this I am using one expansion 
which you might uh, know. Okay. So using using one binomial expansion using one minus x power minus three is equal to. So do anyone know this binomial expansion? So I want you to pause the video for few seconds. Take your time. Try to write down its binomial expansion and then. Uh, see here to cross check whether you have written correctly or not. So I hope you might have written its expansion. So let us see how to write this. And minus into minus plus. So all the terms of this expansion would be plus. So 1 plus nx 3x plus 3 into 4 by factorial 2 into x square plus 3 into 4 into 5 upon factorial 3 x cube plus and so on okay don't need more terms or here so using this and applying to this i can write here f of z is what is it apply uh, this expansion to this so I will be getting 1 plus 3, what is my x? 2 by z. So 2 by z plus uh, 3 into 4 upon factorial 2, 2 by z whole square plus here I can write 3 into 4 into 5 upon factorial 3. 2 by z cube and so on okay now uh, you can see here uh, if I uh, write 3 factorial I can write it as uh, 3 into 2 factorial so this 3 get cancelled here 2 factorial okay so what I can do here is I can uh, write this one as 1 plus 3 okay 1 plus 3 uh, I can write this one as uh, 2 factorial by 2 factorial right okay and here I can write uh, 3 upon uh, 2 factorial into 2 z power minus 1 okay 3 on and this uh, 2 factorial that adjusted uh, let me write it here 3 into 2 factorial is 2 and this is 2z inverse this this can be written as uh, 2 factorial I am already having and this is 3 into 4 into 2 square is 4 into z power minus 2 plus here 3 get cancelled with this so this is 4 into 5 upon factorial 2 into 2 cube let me write 2 square this is 2 cube into z power minus 3 and so on who's going to tell me the last uh, term of this uh, sequence okay so it is going to be just looking at this you can write plus n n into okay so you can write this like n plus 1 because my n is uh, 3 so this is uh, n plus 1 4 is n plus 1, 5 is n plus 2 upon factorial 2 I am getting it and what is it 2 to the power 2 to the power n into z to the power minus n and so on. You can see here this can be written as 2 to the power 1 right. So So this is my uh, expansion and as you know if f of z is this, if f of z is this then what is my 
f of n if f of z is this then my f of n would be the this and at the top of this expansion you can write here therefore f of n is equal to what is f of n f of n is coefficient of z to the power minus n which is equal to coefficient of z to the power minus n so what is my coefficient n plus 1 into n plus 2 upon factorial 2 into 2 to the power n and this completes the problem okay and you can write here of course n should be greater than equal to 0 okay so this completes the solution of this problem very simple problem is there okay just uh, look at this uh, region and accordingly you have to get the expansion here we get 1 minus 2 by z power minus 3 sometimes you may get uh, uh, 1 minus 3 by z power minus 2 something like that okay now let us take one more problem here find inverse z transform of find inverse z transform of z square plus 4z upon z square minus z plus 1 and region of convergence is given that mod of z is greater than 1 so like the previous problem you can think on it like finding the z transform of this okay so what is my f of z my f of z here my f of z is 3 z square plus 4 z upon z square minus z plus 1 this is my f of z now what i uh, want is the sequence okay f of n but as you can see here the uh, degree of numerator and degree of denominator is same so you can just add one sentence here here degree of numerator is same as the same as degree of uh, denominator hence divide hence divide numerator by denominator and you know how to divide two polynomials okay so let me use this so i am doing it here so here we have what is it 3z square plus 4z and we have to divide this by z square minus z plus 1 okay now this is the second variety of problem that we are taking under this topic okay now you can see we have 3z square and it is just z square so what i need to do i need to multiply it by 3 so what i will be getting 3z square minus 3z minus plus 3 okay now minus plus minus this get cancelled with this 4 plus 3 that is 7z and this is minus 3 okay so we have this now don't think like here that uh, we have the degree uh, here is 1 and here is 2 so we can stop no we want sequence and all the elements of the sequence f0 f1 f2 f3 and so on these are all coefficients of z power 0 z power minus 1 z power minus 2 and z power minus 3 and so on okay so we continue this uh, division so what uh, what i need now 7z and what we have we have z square so how can i get this 7z by multiplying it to 7 by z right so plus 7 by z multiplying with this so or you can write 
7 into 1 by z. So when you multiply this by 7 by z, so z, z get cancelled and I will get uh, 7 z. What about this? Minus 7 plus 1 by z. Now this minus, this plus and this minus. Again this get cancelled. 4 minus 1 by z. Now what I want? I want 4. What is it? This is z square. So what you will, uh, by what term you will multiply this to get 4? Very simple. 4 by z square, right? So plus 4 by z square you multiply it to this. So you will be getting 4 minus 4 by z plus 4 by z square. Now this is minus plus minus. This gate cancel. Okay. Minus 1z plus 4z plus 3 by z plus 3 by z minus 3 by 4 by z square. Okay. Now what we want 3 by z. What we have z square. So how you gonna multiply this? You wanna multiply this by minus. No, not minus. Plus 3 plus 3 by z cube so when you multiply by this by 3 by z cube I will be getting 3 by z minus 3 by z square plus 1 by z cube and then this is minus plus minus so this gate cancel with this and I will remain with minus 1 by z square minus 1 by z cube then now i need minus 1 by z square so what should i multiply to this i should multiply to this by minus 1 by z power 4 okay so this is minus 1 by z square minus minus plus 1 by z cube plus 1 by sorry minus 1 by z to the power 4 you can continue this way again this gate uh, cancel this gate also or uh, no this is minus uh, this gate minus 2 by z cube minus 1 by plus 1 by z to the power 4 you can continue this way okay so what is my f of z my f of z therefore f of z is equal to what was it 3z square plus 4z upon what is it z square minus z plus 1 and this can be written as how one can write this one this can be written as 3 plus 7 by z plus 4 by z square plus and so on right so you can write 4 by z plus 3 by z cube minus 1 by z power 4 okay and so on you can continue this way uh, whatever number of terms you want as your answer so in the answer I'm gonna write <coughs> only three four terms so this is my f of z I can continue this so what is f of n then my f of n is coefficient of z to the power minus n so what are the coefficient of z to the power minus n coefficient of z to the power minus n so for 0 we have 3 for z power minus 1 I have 7 for z power minus 2 I have 4 for z power 3 I have 3 for z power 4 minus 4 I have minus 1 and so on so this is the sequence we want for the given problem so I hope the problem that we have taken under this power series methods are clear to you for any doubt you can ask during the live interaction. So for thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.